Dear students, let's continue our journey for success. So, we'll start today in lesson two, what are science skills? And this lesson will continue for two weeks. First of all, I want to ask you an important question. Please try to think with me. Number one, how do scientists study the natural world? How do they study it? Okay, so they use different senses. They use their senses to observe and study the natural world. Do they use tools? Yes, they use tools like the biologist uses the microscope and so on. So the scientists use different tools to observe the natural world. How can we classify the following animals as you see here in the figure? We can sort animals in groups based on how they are alive. So by sorting the animals, by sorting different things according they are alike, I can classify them. So the word classify means is to sort objects in groups based on how they are similar. How do we do when we infer? So when we infer, what will you do? We use repeated observations and the prior knowledge to explain what we observe. So we need to know the word inferring mean. Inferring, it is to make explanation or interpretation that is based on repeated observations, prior knowledge or opinion. What do we do when we predict? We say that we think will happen based on observations. So the word prediction means it's the expectation of the outcome of future events. It's based on previous observation, patterns, or evidence. Okay. So we need to differentiate between the word classify and the inferring. We need to put a definition for each of them. Classify it means to classify is to sort objects into groups based on how they are similar. As to classify different animals, they classify different objects, different things, so you will sort them based on how they are similar. While inferring, we said inferring, it means making a logical guess or uh, inference. Prediction. Prediction is an expectation of the outcome of future events. Prediction are based on previous observations patterns of evidence or explanations. Okay, generally scientists are curious. They ask a lot of questions. What are some questions you can ask about the picture you found here in PG24? So, you can ask many questions about it. So, what makes the better flies look orange? What type of flowers are these? Why? Are the butterflies attracted to these flowers? This means that scientists are curious. They ask questions because they want to better understand the natural world. Okay. How does energy from the sun reach us? As you see here, so you start to think. So scientists ask questions, then plan investigations, to find answers for the questions. During these investigations, scientists rely on special skills to gather evidence and help them interpret it. These skills are called science inquiry skills. And using science inquiry, science inquiry skills can help you think like a scientist. They help you identify problems and define solutions. Observation depends on the ability to use senses to describe things around us. What do you what do you observe in the picture that found here in front of you? What do you observe in this picture? So you will find orange flowers, green leaves, orange butterflies. And now, how can scientists make observations? They make observations by using their senses and compare and contrast things. Observation depends on the ability to use senses 
to describe things around us. Generally, a scientific inquiry first starts by making observation. Then scientists ask questions based on what they observe. Scientists also make observation by comparing and contrasting objects. Making observations is how scientists collect evidence or data. Once you gather the evidence through observations, you need to compare the data. The evidence needs to be stored based on how they are like. Okay, if you try to think with me what are some characteristics you can use to classify objects. If you want to classify many objects in, in front of you, so what are the main characteristics you will use? You can use the color, you can use the size, you can use the purpose of classifying. Once you have collected the data, the next step is to classify. You sorted the data that is similar or alike in two groups, and the classifying data helps the scientists understand the relationship between things. Okay. Making careful observations is necessary to all scientific inquiry. We use our observations to draw conclusions about the natural world. These are called inferences. We can use the photo to make inferences about the type of the flower butterflies are attracted. So, inferences and conclusions. Inferences and conclusions, they are based on observations we make and the prior knowledge. Predictions are also types of conclusions in which you say what you think the outcome of an investigation will be. Predictions rely on observations and the prior knowledge. They also rely on inferences. So is there a difference between prediction and the guess? Prediction relies on evidence, whereas a guess does not rely on anything. Is the difference between prediction and a guess. Sharing information is an important science skill. Why? Because scientists share the steps of their investigations, their observations, their inferences, and their predictions with other scientists. Okay? So, they can write articles, they can make charts, they can build models. So, sharing the information is important because science is ongoing. New investigations can be made based on the results communicated about other scientists' investigations. Let's talk about the model. Model it is the way that scientists can communicate information, such as the tables, graphs, and diagrams. Okay. Measurements. What are three examples of physical properties that can be measured? We can measure the length, we can measure the mass, we can measure the temperature. Then what are three examples of tools used for measurements? We can use electronic balance scale, we can use thermometers, you can use meter stick. Okay. So measurement is a very important for us.